Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how to set up OBS for streaming and recording to file. Or rather, actually I was set it up for recording to file, then you can upload it wherever. Um, but you can also do this for streaming. So, uh, let's just show you, I've got a, an example project. Uh, is recording to a file while I'm using OBS. Um, so let's just have a quick look. If I can get my cursor back. Um, let's just have a quick look at OBS. A obviously Streamception. Uh, so OBS is Open Broadcaster, which is uh, an open source media streaming kind of so thing. Uh, and it can record to local file so you can either stream or you can record or you can do both uh, so what i'm doing is i'm recording to the local file and if i go to quickly go to my settings i'll show you the settings i use for recording and um, when i'm doing these tutorial videos and stuff um, so let's just quick run through them. English language, there's the settings I use for quality. I use max quality when I'm doing file recording. Um, it records to a particular file. Make sure that you've got the save to file check and keep recording if your stream doesn't work. Um, if you're doing uh, streaming to Twitch, you want different settings than if you're doing a file recording. Uh, you can get away with streaming it to Twitch, but it's not necessarily the most ideal. So here I'm using the desktop resolution. You can change it to whatever you want, but um, so I'm doing no downscaling. So I'm trying to get max quality for recording the desktop stuff, which is useful when I'm doing tutorials because obviously the text would get um, a lot less visible if I wasn't. Uh, I've got a microphone plugged into my Steinberg C12, C C I2, whatever. Anyway, I've got a microphone plugged in. Uh, obviously, you use a headset mic or whatever. Uh, there's my settings for CPU presets and those kind of things. And you do want a noise gate on your mic if you can. Uh, so just go back to that. You can obviously pause the video and have a look at these settings at your leisure um, so I would suggest you try out a get a profile setting set up for um, get a setting set up for you can do multiple settings uh, and save them out make sure that you have a setting set up for um, streaming say to Twitch uh, and also a setting set up for file you know saving to file basically recording locally and the reason is that um, if you can do a high quality recording locally and then you can upload it to YouTube or you can stream to Twitch in whatever resolution you can manage obviously the Twitch streaming thing is bandwidth sensitive so if you haven't got a lot of upstream bandwidth what you might want to do is record to a local file and then upload that to YouTube and just take longer to upload it um, from Twitch you can actually export to YouTube so you could do it that way if you've got enough upstream bandwidth to get a high quality video the point is that your video should be clear enough that obviously people can see the things that you're talking about in terms of text so make sure once you've recorded your stream, especially for the uh, initial submission stuff, just make sure that you've actually viewed it and that you can actually see it at a high quality. Um, your stream should be as high resolution as you can make it. So make sure that you leave enough time when you're doing your videos to actually review the thing. And view it all the way through because if you get some kind of corruption at halfway through it or later on in it, it's up to you to make sure it's viewable, okay? So there you go. Open broadcasting software. Get the latest version. This is slightly older, but I don't, can't be bothered to upgrade it right now. Um, you can obviously do things like text over 
I'm not going to show you, but you can set up different scenes, and that will sh allow you to do things like, you know, text overlays and stuff like that. You might want to take the final video that you've produced, which is an MP4 file, and you might want to save that, uh, edit it in um, Adobe Premiere Pro. Yeah, that's the one we got at the university, isn't it? Um, edit it in Premiere Pro, change the resolution, crop it, pan it, whatever you want, right? So I'm not looking for massive video production, but just be clear with what you're creating, okay? Right.